As you may know, there are several recording modes found within the Avidus time-lapse camera system. PIR, which is also known as motion sensing, is one of the creative modes to shoot in. This mode needs to be asterisked with a danger. Do not use. Sure, you can go ahead and use it, but here's the fine print. Excuse me here as I show you my screen. Back in February, I chose to document, well, a pesky little squirrel critter that was actually in my carriage house, causing undue havoc to some of my wires and gas caps. So setting the camera up on motion sensing, I wanted to see what I would get. What came out of this recording on, captured on January 1st, was nearly 270 files. The reason why that if you look at the details, you'll see some file skips here, is I culled through all of this footage and selected only the footage with just a touch of action. But of course, file number 1188, all the way down to 1428. These little files, when stacked on a timeline, means that you will have to speed up, go through, cull, and handpick your chosen footage that you want to use in the editing process. As you can see, using PIR as a creative mode for your observation in nature is something that you want to heavily monitor. It is very taxing on your camera system. It will chew through your batteries. It will chew through your card in a matter of a few hours, depending upon the movement that it captures. If the wind blows or and rustles a tree or moves a leaf or moves a hummingbird feeder, it is likely to fire off and you will burn through your 16 gig card probably in about an hour to an hour and a half, let alone the battery usage, and deal with so much content, you'll have to pick and choose. So this is why we say it's a creative mode, used sparingly, and it's definitely one you want to heavily monitor. Stay tuned as I will be posting more information on tips and tricks about all of these modes to shoot in, and perhaps recommending the best mode, which is schedule time-lapse, for you to be in. See ya.